Thanks for tuning in. This is Public Land Rut and Strut here today to show you how to build your own custom built battery box to run your trail camera. So the next thing you're going to need is a piece of wire. Right here I've got a piece of 12 gauge wire which we're going to use to connect the positive terminal of this battery to the negative terminal of this battery to create 12 volts from two 6 volt batteries. These little, these little quick connects right here that you can pick up at an automotive store are going to be what you'll need to connect to the prongs on these batteries. They're just going to slip right on just like that. But we're going to take these and crimp them on the end of our 12 gauge wire by sliding this on and then just squeezing. So that one's crimped on. We'll do the other side. Same thing, just slide it on. And it's, it's important to, uh, when you strip your wire, don't strip it back far enough so you see copper. Strip it back short enough so all the copper is protected from the coating. Set this in. Give it a squeeze. Crimped it on. Give it a pull, it's snug. So there we go, there's our cable. So right here I've got a multimeter. The multimeter is gonna be really handy to just to test the voltage. So I'm gonna slide it over to six volts right here. I'm going to slide it to 6 volts and we're going to, I'm just going to test voltage of this battery. This one here reads 6.38 volts. This one over here reads 6.36 volts. So two 6 volt batteries, we're going to connect, we're going to make this little loop here our wire like that. We're going to connect the positive of one battery to the negative of the other battery. Take our multimeter And then we're going to hold it on the terminal, negative terminal of one battery, positive terminal of the other battery, and it should read about 12 volts. So as simple as that, that little battery right there, that little battery setup will last you a long time out in the woods. So the next thing I like to do is, uh, is take these batteries and keep them snug together. So I like a little, take a little electrical tape and we're just going to tape them together. Just as easy as that. Keeps them from sliding, moving around. So one row at the top, one row at the bottom. And then I'm also going to take these wires right in the middle and seat them down just so they don't take up any space in the waterproof container. I 
All right. So let's just test fit this in this case. So I'm just gonna, it comes with a little strap on the top, which I don't use. So I'm just gonna clip that off. Take that strap off. So this case here, it's got a little plastic or a little piece of paper protecting the rubber sealant. We'll take that off. <clears throat> so, so this case right here is going to protect these two batteries from the elements of being outdoors. And that case, I mean, I'm telling you what, that couldn't fit any better. So that's what that is going to look like. The next thing we're going to do is paint this case, give it a little camo camouflage touch. Okay, so now we're getting ready to put a paint job on our battery box. One of the best ways I found to uh, come up with a quick camo pattern is take, a, take an old sponge that you have and rip a piece of it off. Like that sponge right there, it's got a good texture to it. So we're gonna use this sponge. So what I like to do is just lay a puddle of paint to work from. A little bit of green, a little bit of black. And then you're gonna take your sponge dab it in it and then start dabbing it on the box on your camera box Just keep dabbing and applying some paint. And it gives it a really nice texture. A good broken up pattern. Yeah, so it's as simple as that. And we're gonna let that dry. And we'll be all set. You, you can pick this uh, six volt or 12 volt charger up from Walmart. It's got a switch from 12 volt to 6 volt and off. And these little alligator clips right here, you would you could charge these batteries individually on a wall outlet. All right, so now we have our battery box painted. 3 8 inch, inch hole drilled into the bottom side of it. So when it's mounted, when it's mounted to the tree, this will be on the bottom. So if any moisture ever did get inside, it would find its way out through that hole. So let's open this back up. So our, here are our two six volt batteries wired in series. So a series is from positive to negative. And what's that? What that is doing is it's taking two six volt batteries, turning them into a 12 volt battery for our 12 volt camera. So the next step, we're gonna take our cable.
And we're gonna feed this cable through the 3 8 inch hole we drilled. Just like so. And then connect it to our battery. On this uh, setup, the white is actually the positive and the black is the negative. So we're gonna go from positive one battery to negative of the other battery. And then lay this down flat. And it's a really nice snug fit. Shut this, shut this door. And there you go. That's a battery box with a nice six foot lead to a 12 volt connector. And I've got a trail cam right here. I'll go ahead and take the batteries out of this thing. This one here, just pull the whole battery case out. So the battery box with the six foot lead. And this camera is a stealth camera. Plug it in. Turn it on. Works like a charm. Yeah, so hopefully this uh, custom built battery box will save you some time and some money. <laughs>